Hi, I'm Joanne Hewins. I'm here from lovetocreate.typepad.com and I wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about the card that I made today for the Color Fusers Blog Hop. Um, I used this stamp set, Press Flowers, and this is one of the host sets that you find in the back of the catalog. Our challenge today was to use uh, Call Me Clover, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, Pineapple Punch, and Gorgeous Grape. And this is the card that I came up with. And what I did is that I colored directly on the stamps. So I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about coloring on the stamps and how you do that with your markers. Uh, your markers have two ends. There's a thin or smaller end and then a larger brush end. And that's the one that you want to use for this technique. So I'm going to take the lid off and I'm just going to color. Now I'm not going to use the tip because that's going to ruin my marker. I'm going to kind of do it on the side and you're just going to color right on there. And I'm going to start with the green. It doesn't really matter which color you start with. I'm going to color all of that. And then I'm going to finish this up with a gorgeous grape. I'm going to look and find the brush end and color my flowers. Actually, I think what I did on that is I did the centers of the flowers with the pineapple punch. And then I came back and did the rest with the gorgeous grape. Now if I kind of go off the edge and get it down in there uh, on the stamp, it's okay. I see I left out a little bit of the stem. So I'll go back and get that. Now if I'm going to do this one more than one time, I may have to clean it because I don't want to get uh, the tip of my yellow all messed up. Let me get the rest of this stem here. And then to make sure that your ink is all still wet, you just want to give it a little huff or a little blow. I'm going to do that off camera. And then uh, you would stamp on your paper. I just have Whisper white paper and I'm going to put a little bit of a scrap underneath that and and stamp. Okay, there you have that one. And I, I would just, for the project that I did today, I would just stamp that several times wherever I felt like I needed it. And we'll do one of the others. This is the Mango Melody. And I'm just going to color on that. Now sometimes uh, I feel like I need to stamp it or color it and stamp it off and color it again and I feel like I get a better result. These seem to be doing okay. So carefully I'm just going to color down that stem. Give it a little huff or uh, blow. And I'll stamp that one down in there. So there you see that one. And we'll do the lovely lipstick flower. So I'm just going to do all of the balloons and the buds on that. And then I'll come back and do the green. And you can see this is a pretty quick technique. So there you go, and I just did several of those. Um, I have another smaller one here that we could do with the uh, pineapple punch. And I got a little bit of green 
on there, so I'm going to kind of get that off. Do the pineapple punch on top of that again. So there we go. You still see a little bit of green smudge, or yeah, green smudge there on the yellow. But uh, this is how you color directly onto a stamp with the markers. Um, here again is the finished card that I made. Thanks so much for watching. The supplies that I've showed here today you can get from my online store at lovetocreate.typepad.com. I would love for you to share this video if you think someone may find it useful. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye-bye.